Hi guys, this is a video answering a question that I've been getting a hell of a lot recently from people. They've basically been asking me how I changed the style of my web pages. So for example, how did I get Google black and how did I get YouTube black? So this is mainly for the newcomers because regular viewers already know how to do this. So I'm basically just going to explain it. So I have Mozilla Firefox. Now, the great thing about Mozilla Firefox is that you can customize it, you can get add-ons for it. Now, one add-on in particular which I find particularly useful is called Stylish. Now, I also have something called Grease Monkey. I've done a video on this in the past if you want to go and check that out. Now, the thing about Grease Monkey is that it allows you to apply JavaScript to a page. Now, with Stylish, this allows you to apply CSS to a page. So, if you don't know what those means, basically, uh, Grease Monkey will allow, allow you to add extra functionality to a page, and Stylish will allow you to change the design. It's as simple as that. Now, Stylish is, is great because you can uh, is a number of styles, and you don't have to write them yourself. So, if I just right-click and show you the ones that I have, I've got Google Web Search, Dark Grey, Redesign, VC. Now, this is actually made by a guy called Valakar, um, I've been emailing recently and apparently he's been watching my videos so a big shout out to Valakar. Um, so if you see I'll go into Manage Styles you can see I've got a couple that I've tried out. You can see all the ones that I have here, they are the only ones at the moment I have are Google and YouTube but there's a lot more. Um, so you can start writing your own if you wish, start writing your own CSS. Now there are guides um, on the web on how to make your own style but for those of you who are lazy and just want to download them there is something called userstyles.org now at the moment as it says here this site has changed host this is the old host you're reaching the host because your DNS has not been updated so they're changing host at the moment um, I think it's a good idea because their um, site was frequently going down for bandwidth limits so they're changing host so it's all good um, but userstyles.org is a great place to go if you want to find styles for any particular website so for example if I just search YouTube um, you'll see a bunch of styles here search results for YouTube there's a hell of a lot so we've got YouTube blue YouTube video resizer uh, ads and active sharing remover sexy vid uh, partner aids fix so there's a bunch of uh, things that are all just designed for YouTube and they're really simple to install so I'm actually going to give you an example here is my Google Mail inbox uh, it's looking white I, what I think is a bit bright on my eyes because I've got an LCD monitor that's quite bright uh, not good at night time so I'm going to get a dark theme for this so I'm think, simply going to go to stylish I'm not actually going to go to the userstyles.org website because there's another great thing about this and you can see it's here it says find styles for this page now Grease Monkey doesn't actually offer this it doesn't say find scripts for this page but uh, stylish does allow you so I'm simply going to click that and here we have again mail.google.com so there's a bunch of stuff that's been made for it and as you can see I've clicked a couple and here is dark gmail to NASA so it gives you a nice little screenshot, it gives you a rating of it tells you when it's been updated and it says show code if you want to um, modify it yourself you can load it into stylish which is exactly what I'm going to do so it says you're about to install dark NASA 2 this will make changes to blah 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 so I'm just going to save it obviously you can preview it if you wish simple as that and it says style installed in stylish so you can see a bunch of reviews that people have left as well and people love it so um, what you probably think is that I'd have to restart Firefox to get this thing but if I switch over to the Google Mail it's already been applied it's done it all automatically on the fly so if I was to disable this because obviously you can you can see right here it has dark gmail NASA t um, dark gmail to NASA if I untick it it does it in real time which is great because that means you can test out your um, your scripts and um, or sorry your CSS and you can see if it works right and then you can uninstall it and um, to delete a style you simply go to manage styles again uh, find it and then click delete so this is the stylish Firefox add-on it's very very useful and also um, if I can go back there are some things that it adds to the actual site itself so you see app styles um, sorry the Firefox itself so you see popular apps app style Firefox tabs stylish rounded Vista transparency theme about blank blue Firefox Vista black Firefox free and um, there's a bunch of things that are actually made for the apps um, which is the um, 
Mozilla applications as you can see here and also we have global styles now I actually used something from this but I can't remember what I did it was a blue outline if anyone can find this then please leave a message in the comments but I did a blue outline whenever you clicked a box it had a blue outline on it I did it a long time ago but I can't seem to find it so you see chrome looking status bar kill flash ad blocking link icon so it's a bunch of functionality that you can just add to Firefox and it's all done inside this stylish Firefox add-on I just find it really good because it helps you make the sites more customized and more streamlined so that's about it really this is just the userstyles.org website and the stylish Firefox add-on and this these were this is the dark Google dark gray redesigned by Valakar or VC you can search for it and you'll find it and YouTube this is the black um, dark grey redesign by VC as well so that's the Valakar so again big shout out to Valakar thanks you for watching my videos and thank you for the rest of you for watching my videos please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again